Hi, my name is Michaela and my group members are Spencer and Eli. This is our presentation on observing diffusion of microbeads under a microscope. We evaluated how the diffusion of the microbeads vary among different solvents. We recorded and evaluated microbeads in water, soap, and corn syrup. By analyzing the physics of conservation of energy and momentum, we made predictions that microbeads in water would diffuse faster due to its lower viscosity compared to microbeads in soap and corn syrup. We discovered that the microbeads in the water actually moved slower than those in corn syrup and soap due to the mass of the molecules. The larger the molecule of the solvent, the more the microbead will move due to the conservation of energy and momentum. The diffusion of particles is shown as collisions occurring with each other and causing changes in motion. If there are more particles in one area, this will cause more collisions to occur. Thus, will make the particles move in different directions. The bounds of the container will limit the motion of the particles. Once the movement occurs, they will continue to move until another collision occurs, which causes the particles to spread out into the container. This definition of diffusion is related to conservation of momentum and energy, as the collisions cause the particle to move and transfer energy. In our experiment, we tested how the variations in solvent types affected how the microbeads moved. Our independent variable that changed was the solvent type, water, soap, and corn syrup. Our yeah. dependent variable that was measured was the location of a microbead over a 30 second interval. In our experiment, we kept the bead size and droplet release the same. We predicted the velocity of particles in water would be greater than that of particles in corn syrup and soap. This is because of the significantly larger mass of corn syrup and soap means that there are fewer molecules in a given space, resulting in fewer collisions per unit area. Therefore, the molecules won't spread out as easily, which gives the liquid a higher viscosity or higher resistance to flow. The movement of the beads were unpredictable and abrupt. Some beads followed a rough circling pattern, while others seemed to be sporadically oscillating. The data demonstrated a slower average velocity of water in comparison to soap and corn syrup, which is contrary to our prediction. Water had the most inconsistent movement of the three and resulted in a trend line with an R squared value of 0 0.84, while soap and corn syrup had R squared values above 0 0.9. It should be noted that the scale difference in the graphs accentuates the random movement of water. Our results varied from our predictions drastically as water had the slowest velocity and not corn syrup and soap. One way to explain this with physics could be due to conservation of momentum. We can see a trend between mass and velocity from the equation P equals mv. If we take a system that has two particles colliding, in which particle A is held at constant mass and particle B has varying mass but a constant initial velocity, we can observe that an increasing mass of particle B results in a greater post-collision velocity of particle A. This relates to diffusion of the microbeads since the corn syrup and soap molecules were larger than the water molecules. Thus, the average velocities of the microbeads during diffusion were larger for the soap and corn syrup molecules. This is consistent with conservation of momentum, because a larger magnitude of momentum is transferred with a corn syrup or soap molecule given that the pre-collision velocity of the particle is kept constant. There are a multitude of factors that contribute to the success or failure of the trials. While recording microbead movement, the table was touched several times which may have added unnatural motion to the beads. When dispensing the solution onto the glass slide, there were inconsistencies in the angle of the pipette which could give the beads unwanted initial motions. Additionally, the use of the tracking software can cause slight variations in the selected position of the center of the beads. Our final calculated velocities for each solvent are drastically different. This does not seem plausible by the simple diffusion. Thus, we assume that the outside factors affected the quantitative data. Nonetheless, the trends observed can be explained by physics and conservation of momentum. Thus, the trends of each graph should be the focus of the data. We compared the experimental results and representations to the glow script model that we did in class that represented motions of larger proteins and smaller molecules. There are many similarities between the visualization of the program and the experiment, including the movement of the large proteins from the collisions of smaller molecules. This is in parallel with the experiment as the microbeads moved due to smaller molecules of the solvent colliding with them. This program helps visualize what was actually happening to the microbeads as the smaller solvent molecules are not visible. Thanks for watching!